beautiful day today. We're down on the um, down on the Helford, little Mark, um, keeping this one close to his chest. So down the river, looking for the gilted bream today. Um, bream or flounder, take either. Do love the flounder. But obviously the bream is uh, a superb fighting fish. Very tasty. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on and I'll let you know uh, what happens. Tight lines. So rig wise, uh, just on a basic running ledger, nice and nice and simple, weight, bead, swivel and a hook. And obviously tipped off with uh, the bait of choice today, which is lugworm. And uh, hopefully we'll see some bream. Fishing light on the river is key. Uh, I intend to use a, a fixed spool, uh, sort of 4,000, 5,000 size, 40 or 50. Uh, pair that up with a nice, you know, a nice light flatty rod, bass rod. Uh, don't need anything major. I mean, in the past, I've even used a spinning rod, um, nine foot spinning rod. But yeah, the, the lighter, the better. And, uh, you know, you wingle out flounder or bream, even a few schoolies, it's, it's great sport. And uh, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Nothing actually beats being by the river. It's, uh, you know, surrounded by nature. It's just, it's, it's a wonderful time. Um, I can't recommend it enough. It's, not as much action as what you get on the rocks, fishing for mackerel or pollock or garfish, but um, it's a nice way to, to while away the time. Okay, first fish it was after the gilt, but got a nice flounder. Beautiful, uh, beautiful fish. One of my favorites, actually, the flounder. This one here is, uh, yeah, he's a decent size, that one. That was taken on lugworm. I'm gonna go get him back now because uh, I'd love to catch him next season when he's even bigger. So uh, yeah, beauty, good start. All right, let's get her back. Let's go, girl. Beauty. I honestly can't think of a, a better way to spend your time than fishing. I mean, if you love the taste of fish, I tell you what, if you catch your own, it tastes a million times better and uh, just just get involved with this amazing sport. It can be very simple. You don't have to spend loads on tackle. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I owe all this fishing since 1985 when I started. I owe all this to my old man, my dad, my good old dad. So uh, thanks, dad. So just the one fish today, one bite, one fish. It happens like that sometimes. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. But until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. All the best. Tight lines.